Hi folks, Davkis here and welcome back to another episode of Davkis Builds. Uh, in this episode, um, I'm going to actually wire up the microcontroller to the uh, remote control receiver and do sort of a proof of concept. So I showed off the Arduino microcontroller we're going to be using, the Adafruit Metro, as well as the uh, FlySky flight controller that we're going to be using for the remote control. So I'm going to connect the two together. Uh, I'm going to and see how the, the signals come off of the receiver. Um, and then I'm going to actually use a couple of red, green, and blue LEDs to sort of signify how the controls are working. So as you move the controls, each control will have a specific color. And as you move that control, the brightness will, will increase or decrease depending on how far you move it. So that's the goal. Let's wire it up and see how it works. All right, so I've got everything laid out here as far as what we're gonna be using. So we've got our Arduino board here, our microcontroller. Uh, the Adafruit Metro, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we've got a small little breadboard. Uh, this is really useful for connecting up uh, electronics, uh, especially using uh, like these resistors here. So I've got a bunch of resistors, but the, the main thing that I'm going to be using here uh, for this proof of concept is... Uh, there we go. So this is a, this is a red, green, blue LED. Um, this essentially combines three LEDs in one. Um, so I'm going to use that, I'm going to use two of these, since there are six channels, uh, I should be able to use the left joystick and left um, knob on the flight controller to control one LED and the right controls for the right, uh, for, the, for another LED. So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically what we're going to do here. Uh, I've got some resistors, uh, just because these are 20 milliamp uh, LEDs. And so we got to make sure that the uh, the current that comes from the uh, Arduino board uh, is not going to exceed that. So I'm going to use some 470 ohm resistors in order to keep that current down enough to not blow out my LEDs. And then we'll connect the uh, the receiver here up to the Arduino board as well to take the input signals, um, and then take some output signals off of the uh, Arduino board to control the LEDs. So um, that's basically how this is going to work. So I'm going to do a quick time lapse of uh, putting this all together. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's get on with the first stage of this proof of concept build. Now, a quick note here. So the, the top row here is what we're going to mostly be using. These are the digital pins. Um, now, these, these you'll see there's a couple of them that actually have little dots next to the numbers. Now, what we're going to be using for the LEDs is we don't want, just want the LEDs to go on and off. We want them to be able to go with the range of the control that's being used uh, since the controls are very analog. As you put, you, the, the further you push it, the brighter uh, it should go. So what we're going to be using is uh, something called pulse width modulation, uh, which basically allows you to simulate a, an analog signal through a digital uh, on-off signal. So these dots actually represent which pins can do that pulse width, mo pulse width modulation. So we actually have to, uh, to wire up the LEDs on these with the dots, and you'll see there's only six of them. Um, so uh, for, for this board, uh, that's all we're gonna be able to do. Um, so we'll, we'll wire up the LEDs there, and then the ones that don't have the dots we'll use for the input signals from the receiver.
All right, so I've got my my circuit all wired up here. Um, so in the next episode, what I'm going to do is kind of show some of the code that I'm going to be using for this um, in, in order to actually get everything to work. Uh, I'll show you how the pulse width modulation that I talked about, how that kind of works a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I am going to put the code that I'm using up on my GitHub page, which I'll have a link to um, in the next episode. So um, if you like this video, I'll leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more of uh, where all this is going to go, um, hit that subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.